Scorpios, it's me, it's your girl to fly Empress, and I'm here to do you guys December reading. Now, this reading will not resonate with all of my Scorpios, so remember to only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. If you're a cross watcher, put the shoe on where it fit, flip the story around. Um, it could be my Scorpios, or it could be cross watcher, it could be somebody in your energy. This could also resonate with your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus sign. So Scorpios, I'm seeing a very significant change in you guys this month. I feel like you're able to breathe or some type of heavy energy done pass. Yeah, something could be over with or something has come to an end because I'm picking up like this vibrant magnetism type of energy off of you guys. And I feel like everybody can see this or everybody know that there's some type of change that has taken place in your life. <clears throat> like this is something that people can't only externally see, but I feel like something about your energy, your aura, something has changed about you on an energetic level, a cellular level. I'm hearing like a reprogramming in your DNA. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things that is about to happen for you or is happening for you right now. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you're starting to see this change. I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work. This could be working to yourself, working to a business, a job, um, just putting in a lot of work. For some of you guys, you're working a lot. Um, but I feel like spirit is giving you the energy to do this, or this is even pushing you harder to keep going after something. For some of you guys, it's like you're going after like a goal or some type of dream or... Um, some type of manifestation that you've been calling in for a while, but I feel like you wasn't in the right energy in the past. But right now it's like you're operating out of the energy of love. So even like you can have days that's hard or very frustrating, it's like you're not letting that change your energy. Okay, you're not like obsessing with things anymore or trying to control things anymore or you know, it's like you're going with the flow right now. Okay, I'm definitely seeing you guys in your element. I'm hearing going with the flow. Um, yeah, it's like for some of you guys, you could have felt like you was in a container. Okay, like you couldn't go anywhere. You felt stuck. But I'm hearing you've been sought free. So I feel like spirit done sought you free of something here that was dragging you down or weighing you down in your life. It's like you're not... You're not in this stagnant energy anymore, okay? Something has definitely come to your awareness, and I feel like you realize that whatever energy that you was in, you could have been keeping yourself in this energy, but you done did something to shift this, okay? Because for a lot of you guys, you know how to transmute energy. You know how to um, transform energy. You are also um, the, the zodiac of death and rebirth. You can go to the core of an issue and, and find the solution of a problem, no matter how dark or dirty it gets. So, yeah, something here that was hidden in your life is being revealed to you right now. OK, I'm picking up like on a higher consciousness. Something has been revealed to you. I'm seeing like a lot of people being attracted to you. OK, a lot of people. This could be women and men, but there could be a lot of people coming towards you. Or, um, yeah, I'm, I'm picking up like random communication and this could be from people that you don't know. Um, but I, I keep hearing you're like a magnet right now. There's a lot of people that's desiring to be in your energy, but I'm also seeing family, you're bringing in some type of desire or manifestation in your life right now. It's something that you're doing. Okay. But I'm picking up like it's more than you just putting in the work. Um, this is you actually trusting and listening to your intuition. This is you balancing your emotions, your mind, okay, your energy. I'm picking up physically. It's like um, everything is balanced, okay? I'm hearing there's a lot of things that has balanced out in your life, okay? You guys, you know when to pull it back and you know when to keep going. So I feel like you're not overexerting yourself anymore, are like draining your fuel, okay? <laughs> um, 
it's like you know how to recharge and keep moving okay you know how to reboot and keep going but yeah i'm seeing that there's something that you're doing here this could be creative wise for some of you guys you could be creating or working on something at this time but I'm also picking up like your sacral chakra is on fire, okay? And this is actually, you got a chakra um, because it rules emotions. The sacral chakra is like Scorpio energy. It's water energy. So that's all about relationships, connections, sexual energy, creative energy. For some of you guys, you could be dressing more sexier, okay, or coming out more, um, dressing up, okay? I feel like you're gaining a lot of attraction when you go out. But I'm hearing that this is causing, like, everything to come towards you, okay? Like a magnet. I'm hearing magneto. It's like you're drawing everything towards you at this time. I also feel like you got the help of your ancestors. Definitely your angels are around you. I feel like there could be spirit guides that's showing you certain things, um, family members could really resonate with you this month. So for some of you guys, I feel like you're keeping a lookout on like your balance, how much you got in the bank. You could be, um, on a budget or it's like, you know, how much to spend and how much to save. Um, something about the time. I feel like if you got to be somewhere, you know, you, you make sure that you're on time. Um, time management is what I'm hearing too. But I'm seeing a lot of numbers. For some of you guys, um, you could have to go somewhere very important where you have to like pull a ticket. Um, I feel like you're going to receive some type of blessing from this or something is going to come through for you. Okay, this is giving me like, well, just say for instance, um, you're trying to receive some type of assistance. This could be at the financial aid office. Say, for instance, they got a long, long, long line and you have to pull from the ticket number. You could be wondering, will I be able to get back into school? Like, is this loan going to hold me back? You know, for some of you guys, you could be worried about something, but I feel like you got access to it or you will have access to it. Something about pulling a ticket number. For some of you guys, you could be buying tickets like lottery tickets. Um, but numbers are going to be very, very important for you guys this month. Okay. Um, I feel like you're keeping a close eye on like everything or you're really observant right now. And this could be to your environment, but I'm also picking up like there are certain things that you're observing in your own life. It's like you're keeping track of everything. You're not letting anything like slip by or you know well i'll put that on the back burner or i'll do this later i don't feel like y'all doing that i feel like you're prioritizing everything right now i'm seeing a lot of organization okay i am yeah i'm seeing a lot of people watching you damn y'all got everybody watching y'all okay i'll be fresh as hell if the fed watching Okay, and that way you say I'd be fresh as hell if the feds watch. So something about you guys being fresh and you could have the ops watching you or, you know, I don't feel like it's the feds, but I feel like you could have ops watching you or like you could have people who you don't deal with anymore. They could be keeping track of you or asking about you or I don't know. They in your energy now. Okay, they in your energy because you look good, bitch. Okay. Uh, my fella, my dude, my king, you look good, okay? Whoever this is that's watching you, yeah. Somebody know that you're about to get something. Yeah, I'm here and determined. Okay, so whoever this is, I feel like this person know you. Um, They know the type of person that you are. I feel like you done accomplished a lot in your life, and this is somebody who knows this. They know that it's easy for you to bounce back or you don't stay down for long. Yeah, can't keep a good dog down. Can't keep a good dog down. <laughs> who watching Um, All Dogs Go to Heaven, okay? um, Somebody could have passed. Okay, somebody that passed away could be watching you or watching over your life at this time. Okay, because I do feel like some type of success is coming towards you. But yeah, I'm seeing like 
family, you are really shape-shifting right now. It's like some people don't even notice who you are anymore. Like your face could be changing. For some of you guys, you could be losing a lot of weight. Um, or like you just getting fit. You could be like eating healthy. Your skin is clear. You know, you could be going to the dentist, getting your teeth whitened. There's a lot about you that's changing and everybody got their eyes on you. Okay, I'm hearing privacy, please. So some of you guys, you just want to be private or you're keeping things private, but people know something is going on. I also feel like um, whatever it is that you didn't understand before or was not clear to you before, you're about to receive major clarity regarding this situation. And this could be like a money opportunity. And I feel like you've been patiently waiting. Okay, you've been putting in the work and waiting, putting in the work and waiting, not complaining, none of that. Okay, you've been keeping your vibration high, but you're putting in the work and waiting. And this is about to pay off. I'm hearing payday. Some of you guys, you got like a payday that's coming up. Okay. Yeah. I just heard you deserve this. Um. Mm. I'm actually seeing like a woman. I mean, I'm seeing a woman. And it's like she's walking towards the sunset. All right. She's like on the fine line of the ocean in the sand. This is giving me like walking in between, uh, in between uh, keeping that balance, like one foot in the water and one foot on the ground. All right. But letting spirit lead you. I, I consider the sun and fire is like spirit energy. This is somebody who's looking up at the sun, but she's walking like a fine line here. I'm seeing like wind in her hair, dress blowing. Okay. Um, family, I feel like you are like on, you're walking some type of fine line here. And this is what's bringing you in blessings, gifts, spiritual gifts, financial gifts, physical gifts. But I'm also seeing like a change regarding your health or your status. Yeah, this is giving me reinvention. Okay. You could be reinventing yourself at this time. I feel like you smart, okay, or you're very clever at whatever you're doing right now. Um, I'm seeing like you done came into alignment with your higher self or your higher self is working through you. I'm seeing a lot of divine energy off of you, Scorpios. I really am. This is giving me like the Holy Grail. Our spirit has gifted you like this divine energy or yeah, something about the Holy Grail drinking from the waters of um youth okay something about your life rejuvenate rejuvenizing right now are you feeling rejuvenated i'm hearing reversal something has been reversed there could be some negative energy that's being reversed but for some of you guys you're aging backwards or something something is going back and whatever this is i feel like it's a good thing yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Family, you could have Taurus or Aquarius in your charts. There could be a Taurus or Aquarius coming towards you. Um, Scorpios, if you don't know, Taurus is your south node. So I feel like you done passed this or you're no longer in your south node, okay? Um, yeah, I, f I just heard detached. So I feel like with this Aquarius energy, I'm seeing the star. This is like you guys are in your North Node right now. But I feel like you don't learn all of the lessons that you needed to learn from your South Node. So it's like your North Node is pushing you farther or you're something about a map. Okay. Spirit showed me a map. You got clear direction right now regarding um, your path. And this is regarding the North Node, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Oh, God. Family. <laughs> you got so many people, like, reflecting. Okay? There's a lot of people reflecting over you right now. 
this could be like failed relationships. We got failed in reverse, failure in the reverse, I mean, and we got friendship, okay? So this could be relationships or friendships that failed. There's some people that's trying to come back into your energy. I, yeah, yeah, they're trying to come back to you. They want to come back now. But I feel like these are people that you terminated or, you know, they walked out of your life. You walked out of their life, okay? Um, but I'm hearing anxious, anxiety, worried. So you got somebody here all in their head, okay? They missing you a lot. This person could have felt like, <laughs> um, <laughs> this person feel like you got them sprung. I'm hearing this song, Sprung. How you got me, got me doing things I never do. Yeah, like this is somebody who normally don't sit up and think about another person all day and all night. But this person do, okay? They think about you morning, noon, and night. And I do feel like this person could be in a connection right now. It could be like a friends with benefit connection or that's how they look at it. Somebody else could be taking it more serious. But yeah, for some of them, they are in a relationship here. But this person is constantly thinking about you no matter what they do. And they have been trying so hard to get their mind off of you. When this person work out, they think about you. This person can go to the store, they think about you. Okay, when this person get on social media, they think about you and go to your page. This is somebody who have dreams about you, okay? I'm picking up a lot of stressful energy. This Whoever this is, they feel like they need to hurry up and come in and talk to you, but they don't know how to begin to like say what they want to say. This person could have communication issues or this is somebody who don't let a lot of time go by. There could have been very negative words exchanged between you and this person. Um, but yeah, they could be like, this person could be smoking a lot, okay? Or this could be somebody who's drinking. They're trying to clear their mind. Whoever this is, they, they are trying their best to clear their mind of you. <laughs> yeah. This is somebody who wants to know if you still think about them, okay? I feel like if you gave this person the opportunity to come in, that they would come in and talk to you. But they feel like you're not going to even acknowledge them or you're going to blow them off. <sighs> Y'all, this person is trying to connect with you or is connecting with you through your crown chakra. All right. Yeah, they're sending you messages, whether this is subliminal through your dreams, visions, uh, family. For some of you guys, you're getting downloads or telepathic communication from this person. All right. This is somebody who's saying, hey, I know I failed you in the past, but if you give me a second chance, I won't do it again. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is realizing that they do got deep emotions for you. This could be a Pisces. It might not be. They can definitely be in this energy. Because when Pisces love y'all, they do love real deep, okay? But yeah, whoever this is, this person is not only physically attracted to you, but they're attracted to your mind. Heavy on the mind and the intellect. This is somebody who's also missing um, sexual intimacy with you as well. But this person is determined to come back into your life. I feel like this is somebody who is ready to walk away, okay, from a situation that they're currently in. I feel like, yeah, this could be somebody who's in a connection with like a karmic partner at this time. But it's like they're reflecting over this person like... I don't want to be here. Like, this is not divine feminine, divine masculine. Like, this is not the connection that I want to be in. Me and this person don't even resonate with each other. Like, you know, I don't even love this trick. <laughs> okay, it's no love here at all. And I feel like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of manipulation that's going on, okay, in this connection with this person. I feel like this person been manipulating someone, but there could also be someone else that be, that's been manipulating this person to stay with them or something. Somebody could be using um, a child to keep a person with them. 
Or somebody could be saying that they're pregnant with a child, but I feel like they're not. Okay, they could be saying it's this person. It's like they're using their body to seduce this person or to get them to stay. But I feel like this person might just walk away anyway. Okay. Yeah, something about this connection is an illusion. And this person is willing to go where the heart is. Okay, I'm here where home is. This person is wanting something deeper now. Yeah. Family. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people that you don't walk away from could be trying to come back this month. Or you will be hearing from people that you haven't heard from in a while. Yeah, you make people reflect. Okay. It's like. A person can meet you one time and they'll think about you for the rest of their life. Like you make that type of impact on people. You leave an imprint on people's lives that they can't shake. And yeah, I'm hearing people always wondering where you at and what you're doing. So yeah, I feel like this could be people you helped in the past or people that um, you encountered. But you could have a lot of people that you used to deal with could be coming in as well. Family, you're changing something with your thoughts, literally, okay? We got imagination <laughs> and change. You're changing something with your thoughts. If you think it, you believe it, and you feel it, you know it, it's like, can't nobody tell you different, okay? And that's what's bringing in some type of change. Something here had to be cut out of your life because it was causing blockages. Family, for some of you guys, you have that ability to bring in what you want if you picture it you might not get it right then but it will come towards you and i feel like spirit is going to show you something this month but this is something you created with your mind or something you imagine and that shit is just gonna like poof it's gonna like pop up in your face like damn i didn't think that shit was gonna come that quick <laughs> yeah what yeah yeah this is justice okay for some of you guys, um, this can have something to do with the court of law. This can have something to do with the system, Social Security, Medicaid. Um, oh, this can have something to do with a will, all right? Um, inheritance. Something here is going to be taking place. And I feel like it's going to go in your favor, okay, with female. And we got gra graduation, but I'm hearing congratulations, okay? So somebody here is about to go through a major, major come up, okay? A blow up, a glow up. Somebody is about to go through this. And I feel like it's you, Scorpio, okay? Or it's cross watcher, but somebody finna go through a major grow up, grow up. <laughs> you growing up, family, okay? I'm picking up a lot of wisdom. Why am I picking up so much wisdom from y'all? Like I said, it's like divine done came down and like touched you and gave you some type of hidden knowledge or information. And I feel like you're using this to enhance your life and other people's lives around you. But you're definitely calling this in. And this is giving me, you're using love to do this. We got Venus here. We need to see where Venus is at in you guys' chart. When y'all um, when y'all get a chance, look up where Venus is at at this time, okay? But yeah, this is divine feminine energy. Something is about to go in your favor. You could be uh, a police officer or work, you know, in the justice system or something like that. Um, but I'm seeing like a change. Some of you guys, you finna go back to school, okay? You're gonna be graduating, okay? Getting some type of higher degree or changing careers, okay? But I'm hearing acknowledgement. So there's a lot of acknowledgement coming towards you. People are going to be acknowledging you um, for a job well done. Like I said, this could be school. This could be something regarding the career field that you're in right now. But I'm seeing a lot of recognition here. It's going to be a reason to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate good times. Come on. Yeah, family, you're going to be celebrating here. Yes, level up intelligence, recognition, achievement, fun times, social events, exploring your freedom. So, yeah, I'm seeing freedom. Okay, I'm actually seeing a horse. 
but this is like a horse in a while. Family, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there was people that was trying to hold you back physically or spiritually, but I'm hearing free spirit, okay? You are a free spirit now. Are you definitely done graduated, okay, in the spiritual realm as well? It's what I'm hearing too. And like I said, family, there could be some type of union that's coming in. For some of you guys, it could be with somebody from your past. But for others of you, I feel like there could be somebody new that you're attracting in your life. Because right beside Divine Union, we got Karmic Partner on this side. But we got Energy Vampire on this side. All right. Um, <clears throat> so you can have multiple suitors that's going to be trying to come towards you guys, especially if you're single right now. But I feel like you're going to choose the right one, okay? Somebody who has also graduated or went to the next level or somebody who could be on the same career path as you. Um, this is somebody who offer you as much as you offer them is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is a very powerful, strong connection, connection, a sacred connection. Y'all, it's Mercury retrograde. Don't be talking about the way I talk. <laughs> um this is a sacred, okay, love connection here. A lot of growth. Yeah, I'm seeing this. Whoever this is you're going to be meeting, this is not no fixer-upper. This is somebody who's always already complete within themselves, and you're complete as well. But you can also have, like, you know, somebody who's an energy vampire coming towards you. But, family, I really feel like this is going to be, like, certain other people. It might not just be on a love connection this could be other people coming towards you because they see that you don't went through some type of glow up they see you happy you got somebody new in your life or if you already have somebody in your life you and this person could be going to the next level um but they see like celebration coming towards you and you creating some type of change for some of you guys this could be other people that's coming in that want to interfere or cause problems, or this is people who want to drain you, or they want something from you. I feel like, yeah, you're going to keep your distance, okay? You already know. Whoever they are, you're going to know. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it before it happens. <clears throat> you're going to see something before it happens. And it's like, as soon as you see it in your vision, you can end up seeing the person the next day. You already know, cutthroat, okay? But yeah, I'm seeing you definitely pulling back from this energy. I'm also hearing not letting other people interfere with this connection. But some of you guys, you're going to be keeping the connection very cute and private, all right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm hearing you're not going to have this on display. Oh, I'm at 27. Um, you not finna have this on display, okay? And I feel like there's people that know or they're gonna wanna know, they're gonna wanna pry into your business, but I'm seeing like, no, okay? You and this person gonna be doing the same thing. Hmm. <laughs> Scorpios, go ahead then. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Scorpios. Yeah. Family, for some of you guys, you had to pay karm karmic debts. This could have been from past lives. Um, it could have been from this life. But I don't know why I'm here in 10 years. Okay, something could have been like a decade. It's a long ass time to pay a karmic debt. But uh, something could have been like a decade. Or it took up to 10 years. Or... Um, I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing. But I'm also seeing that like spirit could have placed you in this energy to help you grow. And now that you done learned the things you really needed to learn, it's time to fly. Okay. It's time to save the fuck. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Scorpios. What else? Baby, they don't know you got spiritual rank. Okay. They don't know how bad you is in the spiritual realm. Yeah, I feel like some people try to defeat you or fight you spiritually. But it's like they didn't know you was a commander, a chief, a boss, a lieutenant, a captain. They didn't know how high you ranked in the spiritual realm. Like, God really do not play about you at all. And I feel like, family, for a lot of you guys, you're about to flex your power. And I don't feel like you're trying to get attention. But I, I feel like, family, something about you laying down the law, okay, or like, you're no longer finna bite your tongue, which I feel like you never bite your tongue, but this is like not holding back anymore. 
family, for some of you guys, it's like you see the injustice in this world or you see injustice when it comes to certain people. Like just by looking at people and seeing like what they're doing, especially if it's hurting someone, harming someone or causing someone pain or, you know, sending negative energy towards someone, you have the ability to pass judgment, okay, here in the physical and spirit is going to get your report in the spiritual, okay, yeah, like people really need to be careful because I'm picking up like you got this divine connection with spirit and he know, okay, your heart is pure or true and something about like any injustice that you see and you know something about this this message or this information going back to spirit these people are going to be instantly judged okay some of you guys yeah you're going to have some people that's going to be asking for forgiveness okay they're going to be thinking somebody did something to them but i feel like you like an earth angel but i'm seeing like a judge with a gavel okay but you have a high ranking this is giving me like um this is giving me like archangel type of energy. I'm not going to lie with you, okay? Um, there could be archangels working through you, but I'm seeing like judgment being passed here. I don't know why y'all I'm picking up on this energy, but I am. That's what I'm seeing, okay? Yeah, you a teacher. You were sent here to teach people, um, to mentor, to counsel people, to give people advice. Um, but I'm hearing like you're this high priestess type of energy and it's, so it's like when people cross you like they don't know the um punishment that they're gonna get okay because you are that protected damn mm. like i said you cause people to reflect yeah yeah you make people think twice I'm telling you, you done got strong, okay? I'm kind of picking up a little Leo energy with you guys, Scorpio. You done got strong, okay? We got Thoth, writing magic, moon, wisdom, equilibrium. So, yeah, I'm seeing equilibrium in your life. But this is definitely like um, ancient age of energy with Thoth being here. Like I said, it's giving goddess, god type of energy. Very strong, very powerful, I feel like you have been able to um, wield some type of power in your life now. Yeah, okay. Some of you guys, you got secret powers that you didn't know nothing about. Okay, but you done tapped into this. Spirit, show me what I need to see, Scorpio. If people do how big you would become, they would have treated you nicer. Oh, it's going to be some people that's going to get a rude awakening. All right. Family, you could be like a little nerd. Okay. I'm hearing um, late bloomer. <laughs> um, family, for some of you guys, it could have took you a little while to come out, but I feel like you're out of your shell or something about your life is in full bloom at this time, even though we're in winter time. Your life is in full bloom, okay? But I'm hearing all of your magical gifts are in full bloom. Some of you guys, you could be blowing up on social media as well, but I'm seeing a lot of success. Somebody is reflecting, okay, on how you done upgraded and they done downgraded. And this has got them pissed off, okay? It got them pissed off. Somebody wish they did you uh, better, okay? They wish they could have given you your flowers when they was with you or, you know, they had, they wish they could have worked things out with you, but it's too late. I'm here. It's too late. You have or will trigger this person to go on their spiritual journey. Okay. Like I said, family, I feel like you're going to be doing this to a lot of people, but there's somebody in particular, their soul really do need to be saved. And I feel like you are going to end up triggering this person to walk away from the flesh. This is somebody who's very flesh. I don't know why I'm hearing flesh eating. <laughs> I'm actually seeing like flesh eating, like somebody eating flesh. Somebody, um, they seeing with their flesh, with their body. Um, 
with their hands, okay? This is people who want things that they can't have or they do things manipulative to get what they want or overindulge in sex or sexual activities, um, unhealthy sex, sexual activities, okay? This is giving me threesome, orgies, same sex, all of that. Uh, <laughs> but um, you are going to trigger somebody here to wake the fuck up. Okay, because you got spiritual ranking. Y'all, this reading so good, I don't want to stop it. I need to hurry up because all these other zodiacs going to be mad. Spirit, what else? Yeah, God's plan. This was all in God's plan. Okay, for a lot of you guys, you already know. You have a iconic destiny. <laughs> okay, somebody thought you was some little punk out here. Or like, you know, you wouldn't, you didn't have shit. You weren't going to be shit. Your mama went shit. Okay, somebody, spirit had somebody blind as hell, okay? Or had you hidden in plain sight. But I feel like you're out now. And whoever this is, they can't stop looking at you or watching you or talking about you. Or like drooling over you. Didn't I say spirit had you hidden in plain sight? Diamond in the rough, right? Spirit had to dig you out of the rough, out of the dirt, okay? He had to go to the dungeon and get you out the cave. And when he brought you out, baby, he washed you, okay? He washed you and shined you up so pretty and nice. And now everybody can't stop looking and thinking about you and how much they want you and how valuable you are, <laughs> okay? They want you bad. They want to have you on their hand, okay, on their arm. Yeah, yeah, family, for some of you guys, you're about to have a real nice life, all right? And this might not come immediately, but you will have a very nice life, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes, baby. Look at this. Flexing your power, standing your ground. I'm telling you, family, y'all finna be flexing around here, okay? But I don't feel like this is in a material way, but just you being you, okay? Some of you guys, it is in a material way, but uh, <laughs> you'll be keeping it quiet. I don't feel like you're going to be telling people what you got or what you, you know, doing, what you purchasing, but I feel like spirit is giving you your gifts. Yeah, because uh, you had to go through something in order to get it, but I feel like you don't earned it now. I'm hearing you're worth it. I'm hearing this song. Um. You earned it by, uh, what's his name? It was on Fifty Shades of Grey. Weekend, by the weekend. Something could take place by next weekend. <laughs> anyway, y'all, that's what I got, Scorpios. I hope this resonated with you guys. If it did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell. And until we talk again later, I love y'all so much.